The greenhouse pictured below can be modeled by a rectangular prism with a half cylinder on top. The rectangular prism is 20 feet wide, 12 feet high, and 45 feet long. The half cylinder has a diameter of 20 feet. To the nearest cubic foot, what is the volume of the greenhouse? So what we're going to do is we are going to determine the volume of the bottom portion of the greenhouse, which is a rectangular prism. And then separately, we are going to determine the volume of the half cylinder, which is the top portion of the greenhouse. And I've said in previous videos, it certainly doesn't hurt to have a liking to a liking for art because it definitely helps with the visualization. So the uh, the dimensions, uh, as denoted here in the diagram, this is 12, 20, and 45. The diameter of the semicircle in the half cylinder there is equivalent to the width of the of the uh, greenhouse. So with that understanding then, the radius of the greenhouse, of the uh, semicircular base of the greenhouse is going to be 10. The length of the half cylinder is going to be equivalent to the rectangular prism, and that's going to be 45. So we're going to figure out, I'm going to call the volume of the rectangular prism V1. I'm going to call the volume of the cylinder, semi, uh, semi-cylinder V2. So V1, the rectangular prism, and for any prism as a matter of fact, is going to be the area times the height, right? So the cross-sectional area times the lateral height. So this is going to be 12 times 20. That's the lateral area. That's this guy right here. So that face multiplied by the lateral edge, which is going to be 45. And if I punch this into the calculator, 12 times 20 times 45. Let's go to the calculator. 12 times 20 times 45. That's going to be 10,800. And to find the volume of the half cylinder there, again, it's the same formula. It is the cross-sectional area multiplied by the lateral edge, multiplied by the lateral height. So it will be 1 half pi times 10 squared, right? This multiplied by 45. And let's punch that into the calculator. So 0.5 pi times 10 squared times 45. And we're going to get 7068.58. 7068.58. We're going to add the two together. So V is equal to V1 plus V2. So that answer uh, plus 10,800. will give me 17,868. It says to round to the nearest cubic feet. So, and that should be 17,869, right? Because it's 0.58 there. So I should erase that. And this answer here, is option one.